Okay, today's topic is data pump. Data pump in Oracle. It is a utility which was introduced in Oracle 10G and this is a powerful tool that has been provided for high speed data transfer. And very much like some other features in Oracle, data pump can be difficult to understand and it will take several videos to explain the complete functionality of the utility. This is one way of backing up data to a point in time. Data pump, data pump can be used to transfer data from one schema to another schema, either within the same database or you can also transfer data from one database to another. You can also use this utility to create DDL statements for a database and the list goes on. So without wasting time, I'll show you how to use this utility from command line prompt to back up data from one table only and remember this is not it there is a lot to it I'll take all possible steps that can help you understand some basic functionality of data pump so we'll start from making a folder on Windows system and then we'll create a directory object a directory object is a named directory location on the database server itself and in order to use data pump you must use a directory to store dump files and log files that are created during the process. So steps can be a bit difficult to remember but I'll start from the Windows operating system command prompt. I'll make a directory md dump okay and I'll check if the directory has been created. Yes it has been created dump and I'll go into this directory change directory to dm dump and I'll say directory once again there's nothing in it okay so I'll log on to the database as sysdba okay show user user is sys first of all I'll create okay now before we do that there is a data dictionary view called all underscore directories okay and these are the three columns in this dictionary view. You can select directory underscore name from all underscore directories and oh sorry my spelling mistake directory underscore name from all underscore directories okay so these are the directories that are already there what we'll do we'll create a directory object create directory uh, we'll say test dir dir as and we'll say c colon backslash dump and semicolon all right, directory has been created. So if I run this uh, select statement that we that we ran before, underscore name from all underscore directories, semicolon enter. This is the new directory that we have just created. Directory object. You can also check the location by using this column directory path select directory underscore path from all underscore directories okay so these are the location on operating system now we'll create a user create user angel identified identified by Wings. Now the name of the user is Angel and the password is Wings. That's how you create a user in Oracle. Semicolon enter user has been created. You'll have to grant some privileges to this user, otherwise, user won't be able to connect to it, they won't be able to create tables. So I'll grant uh, create session first of all. So the end user angel can connect to the database to Angel grant create table to angel so the so user can create a table and also grant 
read write on directory test the to angel okay so i'm granting read and write privileges on directory object called test star test dir to the user angel spelling mistake once again i have to be very careful so grant uh, succeeded so the user angel now has a privilege to create a session to be able to, can, uh, you angel can connect to the database angel can also create a table and angel can read and write this directory object called test dir as well we'll also say alter user angel quota 10m on table space system okay so we are giving angel 10mb on table space space system and i'll say once again alter user angel quota 10m on users table space user alter we are still connected as says i'll connect as angel and the password is wings i've been connected as user angel and we'll confirm the user is angel we'll create a table uh, by the name of one maybe okay and the name of the column would be name for example and data type var char or var car 2 whatever you want to call it and the maximum length of the column would be 20 characters this is not varachar this is varchar and we'll use table space users okay semicolon table created and I'll insert some values into the table one values I'll say one insert into one values none and I'll say insert into one values or more okay so we have three rows in the table called one I'll commit data and I will go to host operating system which is Windows and I'll run the data dump utility so the statement is simple exp DP angel which is username password is wings let's say directory is test dir dump file which will actually hold the data from this table called one would be exp.dmp and then we have to have a log file which should be exp.log and we just want to export one table so we'll say tables is equal to one so if I press enter you'll see a number of things happening okay exported angel dot one so table has been exported and three rows over it so the it has been successful and I'll go to the folder called dump and if I say directory you have two files exp dot dump and exp dot log we can go back to SQL plus program as okay let's see select all from one once again and I'll drop this table table one okay 
if I say select all from one now you should not have any data okay or, or table so what we can do we can import this data once again that we exported and the command would be instead of expdp it should be impdp okay and the user would be angel password would be wings and directory would be test star tables would be one dump file which is very important would be exp.dmp and log file would be exp.log so if I run this and hopefully there's no typo in it the utility is running and it has been successful job has been successful so we'll go back to SQL plus show user angel and select all from one data and table both should be there so that's it there thank you very much that's how you use uh, data pump utility this was just one simple example to make you understand some basic things thank you very much